About two years ago, I said Merry Christmas online, and I, that was on Christmas Eve, and I was charged for harassment. Well, a year and a half later, which was July of this year, I decided to plead guilty. Didn't want to give my lawyer all that money to defend me for such a thing. So what if I have a charge under my belt now that I was convicted of for saying Merry Christmas? That's the worst crime I did in 20 years. So, big deal. I'm not going to say it again or anything else. But during this investigation, what this video is about is Mary Garofolo got to see my probation order because this person posted it online and this person told her all about it. And it says right on that probation order that I'm not allowed to communicate with my uh, estranged children, the ones I can't see, or my ex-girlfriends, and they're not allowed to communicate with me. This is directly or indirectly or make videos about them or stuff like that. So I don't say anything about them. Well, Mary went and made a video of my kids, especially one of them. And she got the child to talk to me on the video. And she came to the farm with that DVD and begged and begged me to watch it. Well, on camera, well, two camera crew people that she brought with her are witnesses too also. So it's all on camera. And then she wanted me to, after I was done watching it, respond to it and speak back to my children. Well, what in the world was she trying to do? She was setting me up to be arrested. I know right away she would have taken that tape and took it to the police station and said, look, Mr. Rock has been ordered not to communicate, and here he is on camera speaking to his children and telling him whatever he wanted to say. Well, what the hell is wrong with this woman? Who set her up to do this? This is conspiracy to commit a crime. She actually tried to pull it off. There's tapes of it if the police want to investigate, and I would love them to charge her for it. Now, if the police are watching this, you, have, you now have my verbal evidence that that crime was committed. This, this DVD does exist. My children speaking to me. And it's on camera and two witnesses that she brought out with her, the crew, that she begged me to respond to them on camera so that she could play it to them and play it to the police. So, Mary Garofolo has broken the law, not in an honest, accidental way, in a malicious way, absolutely malicious. She knew exactly that I would go to jail while being on probation for saying something, you know, or speaking back to, to what I saw if I would have watched that DVD. She even begged me the whole rest of the time I was at the farm, even off camera, to watch it just so that she could say anything that I responded to or say that I watched it and showed that we had communication. She should be put in jail and I hope this video does get her locked up.